Hey, preacher here. Sitting in line at McDonald's. Waiting for my Mac chickens. Three more minutes and I'll get fresh ones. You don't want the old ones. And so today, go to the dentist. Hadn't been there five years. He tells me I got cavities. I believe him. And I do. And that's not a good thing. And so I'm in one room. My wife, she went to the dentist with me. And she's in the other room. And she's kicking and screaming. And having the awfulest fit you ever heard. And so he begins to explain to me. And she begins to. The lady in there too. They take pictures of my teeth and blah, blah, blah. And so when you go to get that stuff done with insurance you always have to have so much okay spend so much money and whatever it's called to get your tell me what's it called when you got to pay this much and then insurance takes over and blah 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 you don't know but anyway so can't think of it deductible the deductible once you meet your deductible he said which my deductible is like $175 and it starts in July okay the year end June July I, you thought I lost my mind there for a minute but I couldn't think and it's like I can't go on if I don't think and if I don't think I can't go on and so in July, so he's explaining to me, if I would go ahead and start doing things now, spend $175, and then go back in July, I got to start spending another $175 for my deductible, it's better off to wait. So I'm going to wait. I'll go in July, I got my appointment made, and they're going to fix my cavities all up and everything. See that? It'd be like all white and shiny and stuff. And... He did ask me about if I drunk a lot of pop, and I don't drink pop, of course. Check it out. And I did tell him I ate ice cream, and he couldn't believe the amounts of ice cream I ingest. So back to the deductible thing. You you pay your $175 in July, you have a year before you have to pay that again, okay? Copay or whatever, deductible. It's deductible. And I got thinking about that. And he's telling me all the benefits of waiting and so on and so forth and so on and so forth and so forth and so on. And then I got thinking about getting saved because we're going to talk about the Romans Road tonight at church. By the way, Macedonia Baptist Church, next week, new books, Romans, we're going through that. We had another book we didn't like, and so we kind of put it to the wayside, and so we'll start a new book next week. If you ain't never been to a Bible study on a Wednesday night, you need to come. Check it out. It's a lot of fun, fellowship. Um, my cutting, he's mad at me half the time, and so that even makes it even better, and um, Lance, he's usually comes in and got the, the politics going, and it's like we have to calm him down a little bit, pull the reins back. But it's a, it's a good time. It's a blast. And so I encourage you to come at 7 o'clock Wednesday nights, Macedonia Baptist. Back to what I was talking about, waiting. And then I got thinking about getting saved. It's been three minutes on my chicken because I'm 3.54 on the clock. They, if, if you're lost and you've never received Christ there is no benefit in waiting to get saved no benefit whatsoever you get saved today and all those extras all those good things all those blessings they start rolling in and you don't have a copay. It don't cost you nothing. You're saved by grace, free and clear. It's a gift of God. And so I was just thinking about that today. Because I've talked to people, ran into people, and we're going to talk about it tonight, sharing the gospel to people that have never received Christ. And one of the biggest things you hear is they're not ready yet. And you know what? Not ready yet will get you on a fast train to hell. 
sorry. There's been a lot of not ready yet people that died before they got ready. And they'll spend an eternity in hell. And so I encourage you, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and we're going to talk about this tonight, we oftentimes say that you have to repent of your sins to get saved, and we're going to, we're going to discuss that. But my Bible says, confess Jesus as Lord. Ask him into your heart, and he'll save you. Then you'll start repenting. You won't want that sin in your life. Because the more sin you get out, the more blessings that come in. And there it is. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> Mac chickens. Nobody eats Mac chickens. I remember when they was a dollar. They ain't a dollar now. They like two bucks a piece. But anyways, I'm going to get going. Got to get to church. Got some things to get lined out. But if you've never got saved, you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, don't put it off. Ain't no co-pays. There ain't no wait and tills. There ain't no better time than right now to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. They ain't. There's people that come to church every Sunday and they keep thinking, maybe next week. Maybe next week. And you know what? For some, next week never comes. And so, if you've never received Jesus, you do that today. The Lord, come into my heart. I want to live my life for you. I'm asking you to be my Lord and Savior. You do that. He will. You'll change. And God will start blessing now. We, we oftentimes think that when you get saved, basically the only blessing is you get to go to heaven. God blesses me every day. Every day. And when I get to heaven, I don't know what it's going to be like. But I know it's going to be good. And it's going to be great. And I like living. Love my family. Love my babies. My grandbabies. But you know what? I don't think I can make it through this old world without Jesus living in here. Had a guy message me today, want to know if the if if the vaccine is the mark of the beast. I don't think it is. But friends, I think we're close. When that time comes, you'll be looking forward to getting out of this old world. So I've rambled enough. Don't put it off. Don't wait till tomorrow. Ask him into your heart. He'll save you. Your life will change. And we'll be singing that old song when we all get to heaven. Because you know what? You'll be going. So until then... God bless. I love you. And I'll see you soon.